Sam's suitcase has just about had it. See what fluff like a duff. Greetings from Chile. We made it, guys. We, we made, made it. it. Chile. <laughs> Good morning, good morning people. How are you doing today? I hope well. Good morning, well. good morning. It is a travel day for us. It is. We are hopping over to Chile. Yeah, I gotta admit, unexpected. We didn't have plans to go to Chile when we first were planning this no, trip. No, we didn't, but then it turns out it's a very convenient way to get to Ushuaia. Yeah. Plus we get to see some of Chile and Patagonia. Exactly. There's actually, some say it's it's one of the nicest parts of Patagonia. So. Oh, oh, oh. Some say. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out, right? So yeah, we have a long travel day. We yeah. are catching the bus here in El Chaltén to El Calafate. Yeah, then three we hours. we have a little bit of a wait, a two-hour wait in Calafate. Then we yeah. transfer to Puerto Natales. Six more hours, including yeah. border crossing time. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's just a full day on the bus, basically. Um, three hours plus two waiting, that's five plus another six. So yeah, we're talking about 11 hours. <laughs> of bus time. That's a lot of math. We'll be getting there at yeah. 10 p.m. We'll be getting there, yeah. We were checking out here at 10 and uh, yeah. we're catching our bus at 11. So we do need to hurry. It is, yes. it is checkout time and we'll, we'll update you from the bus station. Yeah. We'll bring you along for the ride. Indeed. We got soaked, soaked. My leggings are wet. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have brought the umbrellas, but we thought, oh, it's just like two blocks. Let's just and it's leg it. sideways. It like, is. So windy, we would have gone soaked yeah. anyway. Like the, the, the it's howling right now. So yeah, we're just waiting to catch the bus. Yes. And it should be here in 15, 20 minutes. That's the update. Sam's suitcase has just about had it. Sure Wheels has. come off. The wheel has come off, guys. And it Poor is a suitcase. pain to get back in. Oh, that's not how it's supposed, it's supposed to go further than that. There we go. We just needed to roll to the restaurant. Yeah, I actually have a tool in my suitcase, which I should be able to use to screw that on tighter. Look, it's not working great, but. Pet me, pet me, no me, me.
Salut! Mm. Oh my. Greetings from Chile. We made it, guys. We, we made, made it, it to Chile. Welcome. Welcome. Here we are. What a the second bus ride was outstanding, wasn't it? Just that was beautiful. Very, very scenic. Let me tell so you. Scenic. Going from El Calafate to yep. Puerto Natales. Yep. Beautiful ride. Totally beautiful ride. We saw an abundance of Wanakos. Lots of Wanakos. <laughs> All the Wanakos right. in the world. And the, the Nyandus, they're like oh, ostriches, yeah. but a little bit smaller. I don't know if I was able to film them, but like they would, we'd pass them and then they'd start running off. It's like it's yeah. like they got triggered by the, the vehicle with yeah. a delayed reaction. They were delayed to react. Uh -huh. And they were just darting off in the distance. Yeah. But it was a good ride. No stops for food, hey? No. So if you're thinking like, oh, you know, I don't need to pack a snack because we'll be stopping at a gas station or like a pit stop. You do. Nothing of the sort. Yeah, so you were, I think you were telling me it's $22 per ticket? Yeah, 22 US dollars yep. per person. And a good chunk of, I wouldn't say a good chunk of that, but at least a considerable amount of time is immigration. Mm -hmm. And so we first went through the Argentine part. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful, it, it looked more like a, an estancia, didn't it? Yeah, I thought we were driving into an estancia, yeah. to be honest. We turned down a dirt road. Oh man, I'd, love to, I'd love to be the border security working yeah. there. What, what a great gig that is. Seriously. And that was a breeze. You just We just went in with our passports. Yeah. They stamped them. We got back on the bus. We drove down a little bit more of... A rural road mm -hmm. and then once we got to the Chilean side it became paved we went to the Chilean immigration we had to come out with our backpacks not your luggage though not like your your checked luggage oh. that goes in the storage yeah they just like opened up the doors they brought a sniffer dog and like let him climb in yeah. and go around so that the, ma the master of security was the dog. dog I think the dog ended up picking out like three or four suitcases so yes. it was it was definitely working it was doing yeah. his job mm -hmm. but it looked friendly too it was wagging its little tail happy dog <laughs> happy, happy dog to be at work. guys We've got yes. food on our mind. We saw a restaurant a few blocks away. Oh, let's go eat. Yes, we haven't had dinner yet. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. We went and searched for dinner and we came to the restaurant we had driven past earlier, one of the few in the area that's still open at 10 p.m. And guess what? It turns out it's oh. a sushi place. How lucky are we? We love. So we got some sushi, a 32 piece like assorted sushi tray yep. and half a portion of um, a ceviche made with salmon. Yep. We asked for it spicy. It's got red onions, pepper, cilantro. Oh my, that might be our sushi coming. Amazing. Guys, it is my favorite time. Time to devour some sushi. All right. And I have to say, Chilean sushi is some of the best I've had in the world outside of Japan. I mean, I remember when we were traveling in Chile, we had it almost every destination we went to. Yeah, we sure did. So, I'm going to start off with my favorite salmon avocado cream cheese. Oh yeah. Bit of soy sauce and wasabi oh what a find we had no idea we'd be going out for sushi tonight that's amazing amazing first meal here in chile Hello. Oh. are we in this oh my gosh we are, in this. We are tired that was delicious food delicious my sushi. goodness what a wonderful surprise. Yes. I did not think I would be having sushi for dinner, so I was a very happy girl. I think like the sushi came to about 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. The salmon was really, really cheap. I think it was like six, $6 for the salmon sushi. Yeah, that was the half portion. Half portion? Yeah. And then with the bottled water, so I think like we just we had a very affordable meal, mm -hmm, thirty mm -hmm. something dollars. Because and I think we scarfed it down in like fifteen minutes. Like <laughs> we know. were not messing around. I know. I, I, there were so many people that were already dining before us who yeah. were were still dining when we left. Yeah, we were in and out. We were in and out <laughs> because we, were, we need sleep, by the way. Yeah. So what time is it? Oh it's, my gosh. It's almost eleven thirty. This is past so yeah. We've time. we've been we've been at it since well our first bus was at eleven. 
And so, um, yeah, it's time for bed. Time for bed. But um, tomorrow, it's going to be great. We'll give you our first impressions of the town. We're going to go out for breakfast, I think. We'll show you the rooms. Yeah. And um, we'll also probably have some really good food. I think tomorrow is meant to be quite rainy. Yeah. And so I think we're going to go around and just find out um, some of the different options for visiting the, the, yeah. the national park nearby. And we're also going to have a Skype day with our families because yeah. we've been kind of off the grid for a while. Yeah, it's true. It's time to check in. It's time to check in. Yes. Let them know we're still alive. Yes. And um, yeah, we're just looking forward to a good sleep. So hope you guys enjoyed this journey and uh, we've got a solid week in Chile. And we'll be making an episode every day. So hope you'll check that out. Ta-ta. Uh -huh. Good night. Good night.